Hello, this is Paul Bonington, Vice President and Publisher of ENR. I'm here at ENR's Future Tech Conference in San Francisco. It's our fifth conference, and we're very excited about the result. We had more than 300 people. We have about 20 exhibitors and many more sponsors. The, the event has been quite a success. Let's find out what some of the exhibitors and some of the attendees are saying about Future Tech this year. We feel that uh, Construction Future Tech is one of the best technology and construction events of the year. So we've participated in this actually since McGraw-Hill had started this event. And each, each time they do it, it just gets better and better. The audience here is fantastic for the networking, but the sessions, the sessions, you know, a lot of a lot of sessions that people go to or conferences people go to, the vendors sit out at the tables during the, you know, until the break. At this one, they come in to hear what everybody has to say because you've got the experts in here talking about how they're actually applying these things, you know, in the jobs and in their offices. So it's a great event. When you look at the problems in today's world, we do need a different perspective. We need, do need to radically change some of our approaches. Not that a lot of uh, the advances we're making aren't very, very good, um, but, but we really need to step back and look deep beneath the surface. How can we do it better? I've been around the uh, construction software market for 30 years and have owned Viewpoint for uh, 22 of those. But something that, that these sessions really do for us is, number one, you get out and, and, and get, or a, as a sponsor, we're able to give back to the industry. But we also set up a dialogue and collaboration because in the information technology world, things are old after five minutes. And I think these kind of sessions really help us do that. As a practical matter, I would tell you expressions of interest in our product are up over 100% year over year versus 2012. So that says, number one, the economy is improving, but also these kind of events help us, help us uh, promote our brand and, and awareness of our products. So I would encourage people to attend. As a, a software vendor, it's really important for us to understand what the needs of the, the community are. And this is one of the best places to find out what's going on out there and, and what the different companies are doing and, and what we need to be doing to make sure that, uh, that we're staying competitive in the market. William Scotsman partnering up with NRI to participate in this year's uh, Future Tech West Conference. I think it's been really helpful for us. Uh, we appreciate the being sponsors. We appreciate the participation. Uh, it's allowing me to learn a little bit more about the western portion of the country business-wise, us being a national company and uh, having so many different types of customers, market segments. I think there's some real value here. So I endorse it and look forward to the Future Tech in the East in New York City on November 7th as well. Robotic Total Station uh, is a robot. It's commercially available. It's in the construction industry. I want to talk today, obviously today about augmented reality, but I really, what I really want to talk about is getting to augmented reality. There's a lot of uh, misconceptions about what it, what it actually is and what, what the, the scope of augmented reality is. And, and we've learned a lot over the past four or five years in, in you know, what information we want to push to an augmented system. I feel like I have the benefit of learning a lot of things that one of the presenters mentioned she had uh, wished she had known before doing the Parkland campus. And basically PMA Consultants, the company I work for, we're here to make construction projects more successful and I think I learned a lot of things here today that'll help do that. Both with software technology and with just uh, the learning curve from contractors. So this is my third year at the ENR Future Tech and it is probably, uh, for this segment of the industry, one of the premier opportunities for networking, becoming absorbed in new and latest technologies and how they interact and uh, connect with the construction industry. This year at the ENR Future Tech Conference we've seen some amazing technology of what's going to be coming down the pike in the next few years. But more importantly, we've had the chance to interact with some of our existing customers who knew about 80% of what our technology offers, but that additional 20% has made it worth it for us to be here. The conversations have been great, talking about projects that they're working on and features that'll help them on those current projects is invaluable. So we're excited to be here. I think it's a great networking event, um, and it's, it's great to see where the industry's going in terms of um, you know, the future and when what technology has to offer these companies in terms of where they're at today and where they can be 5, 10, 15 years from now and to be able to, to look into the future and make sure that they capture the knowledge here and uh, be able to act on it now.